What is up DTube Steam Blockchain? So today I want to talk about Samsung's latest project that they are going to unveil or showcase on CES 2020 and it is their Neon project which is an artificial human. Did you hear that? Artificial human. No, no AR emoji anymore. It's going to be some sort of artificial human. Now, what I think when I've looked at the photos of it, it seems as they have some new technology where they can really make really good, almost realistic looking 3D renders of a human. And it looks real. And that's why they're calling it artificial human. Neon. I think they're going to showcase it in around a day or so at CES 2020s. So it's a specific section of Samsung that is doing some experiments that they have sort of created this. And it's not a new Bixby. It is an artificial human. And it looks like they're very, very happy with it. And it looks like it's going to be quite advanced. And it looks as you will be able to generate your own artificial human by just scanning your face or scan your friend's face. And yeah, it, it seems as it's just going to be a more advanced AR emoji, which is just the way I want it. Because I can see I have a Galaxy S10 Plus. It's so useful with AR emoji feature. I first got it on the Galaxy S8. Amazingly useful, but it didn't look as good. But it was still pretty impressive then. But then with the Galaxy S10 Plus and I think Galaxy S9, they really improved the graphics. And it's like, whoa, this is really good. So for example, my Galaxy S10 Plus, I can open up the camera app and I can go instantly to AR emojis and I can use my own AR emoji that I've created. And if you will be able to do this with Neon, you'll be able to create an even more realistic version of you in 3D form. And that it can learn the new moves that it that wasn't inside of it. That you didn't teach it. Uh, I just read it on Twitter from the main guy. That's going to unveil it in uh, 24 hours. Now I looked at the renders and there were a few leaked videos of it. And if that is the real thing. It looks very real. Uh, it looks super real. And yeah, it's, it's the 2020s. So, for example, we have seen, and, it, and more and more apps are coming out now, uh, that allows you to make your own GIF and just scan in a face. And we've seen this rise of machine learning in terms of deep fakes on YouTube, Control Alt Face. I think there's a channel like that that has a lot of success with that. And uh, that you now can just make GIFs and like replace a face and do it super fast. There are also other apps that you can just take a face and it just makes different uh, expressions and it looks really realistic. Like you can take a photo uh, that's a still photo and you can make it look like a video by, and it moves the face around and all this and it's very real. Like it looks very good. It's not perfect at the moment. Like it's pretty bad with the eyes and so on. But I mean, this technology is just going to improve and improve and improve. And it looks like Samsung is going to make big improvements here with the Neon. And if that is the real thing that I've seen on photos, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, is that actually a human or is that some kind of computer regenerated thing? We have already seen this, for example, with Instagram, there are... Uh, kind of robots that have their own Instagram Instagram pages and have like super many followers uh, and it looks like this is going to keep on growing uh, and if you combine artificial intelligence with it like a smart Bixby it gets kind of interesting okay and I already seen apps like this that is using GPT-2 uh, this text text rendering thing that is amazing on talktotransformer.com. Uh, there are now like chatbots that are using this and they have like a virtual animation guy. 
and it learns like when you're talking to it and this is just going to keep on improving like all this stuff did not exist like two years ago right and and imagine how fast one year goes imagine that imagine where, where this technology is going to be in three or four years yeah it's going to speed up it's going to speed up and but then we're gonna see oh oh this is really gonna do everything now huh yeah it's going to that is the whole industry is trending towards that like ai automation everything machine learning face learning yeah so but then you are on holiday, right? You don't need a job anymore. That's kind of cool. Like, I see some people kind of concerned about this technology. And yes, it will always be some misuse here and there. Maybe a lot. But eventually people are going to see that it's quite nice that you eventually you won't need a job. I mean, you won't even have to post stuff probably on a blockchain. I mean, we just going to give you some token for free. Yes, we can do that because eventually artificial intelligence are gonna figure out systems and gonna realize. So just give everyone the tokens and it's just gonna work. <laughs> We're still gonna have a problem with like, maybe like, I don't know, we can't give everyone a house. Uh, we can't give, give everyone a brand new BMW because I don't know, it's not realistic that we're gonna make 8 billion of them or that we everyone's gonna have, get a new house, but at least that you can get some free food daily. That would be nice, right? And I think we can we can make that happen. We can make that happen. So it's it's gonna be so exciting to see this. It's gonna be exciting to see what Neon is, what Samsung has worked on, because it seems like they worked on this uh, a couple of years. And uh, and I mean when when I'm using the internet right now, uh, Twitter. Maybe some Instagram, uh, maybe some YouTube. It really feels like a lot of these apps is, is not so good that they can be like, we can really start to automate a lot of these things. Uh, like a lot of the stuff that people do, post, uh, it's so much nonsense, right? It's, it's not anything professional and it's very low effort and it's like yeah it's 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 kind of lame like we humans this is not what we're designed for like right now we're used training the algorithms with our time but eventually it's just going to be like algos are uh, checking out what other algos are doing and uh, and eventually we humans can just be free from all this noise you know of machine learning and blah 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 like this is a transition phase into an ai era and eventually it's just gonna probably be like oh yeah now you can like create your own movie create your own money create your own music and we just can auto generate it and it seems like that is like where the trend is going do you want a friend yeah we can auto generate one you can have a robot that walks around and we can program the personality you want inside of it and what you want it to learn and so on and it's like we can do that so you know it's happening okay we're moving into the ai era ai era okay it's a pretty big deal it's a pretty big deal because humans in the past they had to do everything themselves, they had to do everything, but now you won't really have to do so much, and that's kind of cool. Is, oh, is it going to make people lazy? Of course. Uh, but at the same time, probably some cool things going to come out of it, you know, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, we've been working for this for millions of years into getting into evolution where it's like okay now you don't have to work anymore okay it's like artificial intelligence takes over so yeah i'm gonna look at what this neon thing is i really want to be impressed 10 years ago to make me impressed i wanted some cool hardware now i don't care so much about that i don't care so much about that because i see how it already has like peaked out uh, there's not so much you can do with the hardware side 
but with software, better machine learning, that's so cool. That's so cool because the game theory aspect of it is so cool. Like, can you make a machine that like talks and is like a good chatbot and, and talks to other people and that people enjoy it and it makes people's life better? That is pretty epic. Like if we can make that happen, that is going to be so, so cool. And um, I really enjoy how it makes the phone experience way more fun. I, text is not that fun. It's really not that fun. It's not that graphical. And it's like we humans. We're just not used to like text. Like it's it's really a recent happening, but but when we, when we get the graphics, when we get the graphics, we get the cool big eyes and big facial expressions, and it looks super real. And we can like click auto make a video per day, and the robot does it, and it looks like you. That's that's very cool, right? That's that's very cool. Saving so much time and energy. I mean, really saving a lot of time and energy because making a video, it takes a lot. Now, this is going to mean eventually that you don't even need a camera. Okay, we can simulate the background. We can simulate you. <laughs> we can simulate it all. Uh, and, 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 and like, see how that goes. You know, and we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We still have consciousness though, like, yeah, all the machine learning is just take all the data and that's what it, whatever, uh, but we still have a consciousness, right? We humans can explore consciousness and that's something a robot never can do. So that, so we still have that to sort of play around with and like wonder about in the universe. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I, I, this neon thing is going to come out, artificial humans, that's what they call it. I'm curious uh, how it looks and all that and how it works. Is it a phone app? Do I need a computer? Do I need heavy hardware? Or can I like click on an app and like click one button? That would be kind of cool. Let's see what it is. Or is it a premium feature? Do you have to pay for it? I don't really know. Or is it going to launch in two years? Who knows? But soon we're about to find out and that's going to be very, very interesting. Have a great day, DTube. Steam blockchain.